Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Okay, Nick, here's the question. What movie and its sequel both won an Oscar for Best Picture? The Godfather and The Godfather 2, of course. They were both directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Phew. I'm impressed. You really know your stuff. Only about old movies, really. Do you like Barry? No, not very much. He's too ambitious and dishonest. I agree. I like his brother Paul. They are not alike. Yes, they are completely different. Paul is very sociable and much more honest than his brother. What kind of person do you consider yourself to be? I think I'm polite, careful, relaxed and shy. Oh, I don't think you're shy. You are always chatting with new people when we go to a party. Well, yes, but those people always start talking to me. I never talk to them first. Perhaps I'm not as shy as I think. Anyway, you're certainly not shy. You're right. I love going out and making new friends. So, you'll be at my birthday party on Friday? Of course. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm absolutely lovely, thank you. Everything's been good with you? I haven't been better. How about yourself? I started school recently. Where are you going to school? I'm going to PCC. How do you like it so far? I like it so far. My classes are pretty good right now. I wish you luck. Thanks a lot. Hello, Michael. Hello, Todd. We're going to talk about Australia. Or you're going to talk about Australia. So first of all, how many people live in Australia? Australia? Oh, there's about 20 million people in Australia right now. A little bit under, but close to 20. Okay, what are the biggest cities? The biggest city? The biggest city is Sydney, then it's followed by Melbourne and then Brisbane and then I think it's Perth. But most of the big cities are on the east coast of Australia. And Perth is on the west coast, but sort of about there by itself. Okay, um... If you had to live in one place, where would you live? I like Brisbane. I had my teenage years in Brisbane, growing up in Brisbane. Um, or maybe Sydney because it is a big city, but Brisbane has got the Gold Coast and the sunshine. Oh, nice. Actually, what is the capital city of Australia? Ah, Canberra is the capital city, but is not the biggest city. Sydney is the biggest city. Canberra was made sort of by the politicians so Sydney wouldn't get too crowded. It's a separate territory. There is a tornado warning on. My mother just told me she heard it on the radio. What is a tornado warning? It means that a tornado has been seen somewhere in the area. Really? In New Berlin? No, not necessarily in town, but in southern Wisconsin somewhere. A tornado has been spotted. They have two stages here. This is what is called a tornado watch. That means that the weather conditions are perfect for a tornado. I understand. They think a tornado might come. Yes, people should look out because maybe there will be tornadoes coming. So it's called a watch. And the second stage is called a tornado warning. 
Yes. If a tornado has been spotted, they announce a tornado warning. So if there's a tornado warning on, it means a tornado is out there somewhere. It's scary. Well, tornadoes can be dangerous, it's true. If we hear something like a loud train coming, then we have to go in the basement. What do you mean a loud train? That is what tornadoes sound like. They sound like trains. They're very loud. But if you hear them coming, isn't it already too late? Maybe. It depends on the tornado. Some can move across the ground at 200 miles an hour. That is very fast. Others aren't so fast. Have you seen a lot of them? I've only seen one in my life. I was looking out the window. It was around two miles away. It was very interesting to watch. But it was heading toward my friend's house. So I quickly called them on the phone. Did it hit their house? No, it didn't. But they are glad I called them. What were they doing when you called? They were all sitting in the living room watching TV. They had no idea a tornado was coming toward their house. If it had hit them, they could have all been killed. That's terrible. Do many people die in tornadoes? Not so many really, but a lot of houses are destroyed sometimes. What are your plans for today? Nothing special. Would you like to have dinner with me at King Hotel at 7 p.m.? I'd like to. See you then. What's your favorite sport? It's hard to say. Perhaps swimming is my favorite. I like swimming because it helps improve my lung capacity. In the scorching summer days, there's nothing like a cool swim. Currently, I go to the pool twice every week. Is the entrance charge expensive? Well, it costs an arm and a leg. 30 yuan per person. What a costly sport. That is why I have to refrain from even thinking about it. And I find jogging a very agreeable substitute. Haha, <laughs> jogging? Perhaps it might be a bit too boring? You know what? You won't get a rush from it until you fully understand it. It is a simple sport and doesn't require skills of any sort. This leaves room for me to enjoy the beautiful suburban scenery while jogging. Fresh air caresses my face and blows into my chest, which translates into inspirations. Inspirations are really good stuff for a writer like me. Sometimes, I even come up with a verse or two. You are really a man who knows how to enjoy being alone. Most of our customers are foreigners. How many foreign languages can you speak, Elizabeth? Two. French and Spanish. And how well can you speak them? Well, French was my best subject at school. I can read and write it pretty well. And how about your Spanish? Well, it's not as good as my French. I can speak it reasonably well, but my written Spanish isn't very good. I see. Well, we have a lot of Spanish customers, but you wouldn't need to write any Spanish here. In that case, I'm fit for the position I think. Who's singing in your home, Jim? It's Ellie and her friends. Who's Ellie? She's my little niece. It's her birthday. They're singing, Happy Birthday. Oh, I see. How old is she? She's 10. I suppose they're playing games. Oh, yes. Ellie was playing games all day yesterday. By the way, Alice, when's your birthday? Today. 
Today? Yes. Well, imagine that. How old are you? 18. Some friends are having a birthday party for me tonight. Do you want to come? Very much. What time? About 6. I'll be at your house at about 5.30. Happy birthday. You're a big fan of Andy Lau, aren't you? Yes, I've been got all his albums and most of his films on DVD. I adore him. He's my idol. How come you don't have all of his films on DVD? Some of his early films are hard to find nowadays, especially the ones where he only played a bit part. I see. I'm sure you'll find them one day. I see you also have several poster of him. Yes, these posters are new. I bought them last week and put them up on my bedroom walls yesterday. Are you a member of his fan club? I was, but then I discovered you can find out everything for free on the internet, so I'm not a member now. Did you see the interview with Andy Lau in Cosmopolitan magazine last month? Of course. I bought two copies. Two copies? One to keep and one to cut the pictures out of, right? Hi, Bill. I saw you yesterday with a pretty girl. Yes, she is my favorite girl. I've decided to go steady with her. Are you sure she is the right girl? Sure. She is the ideal girl, the one I had dreamed of. What type of girl is she? She is the mature, stable, feminine type. I hope one day I can marry her. Oh, that's great. You're serious this time. I've got some bad news about the bike you lent me. What's that? I fell on the way to school, and your bike got scratched. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. It's not new. It already has a few scratches. Did you get hurt? No, thank you. That's the most important thing. It's kind of you to say. I feel a little stupid. Forget about it. When you lent me the bike, it looked brand new, almost anyway. Maybe, but really I have fallen a couple of times and it's been hit once or twice as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Where are you going? I'll accompany my wife to the hospital. What's wrong with her? She is expecting. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Where are you going this weekend? I have no idea. Maybe I will sleep for the whole day. So boring. Shall we go out for a picnic with my friends? Sounds interesting. Who are the other people? Fred and David, my college classmates and Rachel. Gorgeous. What should I bring on that day? Your tent and enough food and water. You mean, we can do many other things after the picnic, right? We can go fishing, chatting and camping. What are we waiting for? Come on. Don't hurry. Wait for my call. How many languages can you speak? I can speak French and German. How well can you speak them? I can speak German quite well, but I can't speak French very well. Can you help me to translate these sentences into German now? No, but I'll be able to tomorrow.
Would it be all right if I went home next weekend? For what? Well, I want to surprise my brother showing up for his birthday. Well, that sounds like it would be okay. Just be careful. Why are you so rude to your wife? I didn't like her butting in where I didn't want her. She's a chatterbox. But she means to help you, not to trouble you. I know, but I just can't stand her butting in when I was trying to emphasize a point. Do you like flowers? Of course, I like flowers. What's your favorite flower? I like peach blossom, because I like spring. Peach blossom is really beautiful. Yes, how about you? I like lotus. You have a perfect taste. That there aren't any lotus now. Yes, it's snowing outside. Let's enjoy the plum blossoms. That's not bad. Let's go. What sport do you like the most? I like baseball the best. Me too. Did you play when you were a kid? Yeah, I played until I graduated from high school. What position did you play? I think I tried every position, but the last few years, I played third base. I hate third base. It's scary when the ball is coming at you so fast. It was scary at first, but after a while, I got used to it. If you have fast reflexes, then it's not really a problem. What position did you play? I played outfield. I hated the infield because I never figured out all the bounces. I wish I could play again, but there isn't much opportunities around here. I'm on a softball league. It's not fast pitch, but it's still fun. Do you want to join our group? When do you guys play? We play either Tuesdays or Thursdays. Sounds pretty fun. I'll come out and join you next time. What are you doing over the weekend, Sarah? I'm planning to go bowling tonight. Tomorrow I was hoping to see a movie. What about you? I want to go camping, you know. Just get away for the weekend. I'm not sure I'll be able to, though. Why not? Well, I have a lot of work. I'll see how it goes. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy-to-follow, free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.